Hello everyone and welcome to Homestead for a Living. Today I want to share a useful Instagram feature with y'all for increasing the reach of your farm on social media. So whether you're new to Instagram or you've been using it for a while, Instagram Reels, that's the feature we're going to be talking about, are getting significant engagement right now and they should be integrated into your marketing strategy if they aren't already. So in this video I'm going to teach you three three <laughs> things about Instagram Reels. What they are, why you should consider using them, and how Matt and I are using them to promote our CSA, our farm stand, and our digital products. So what are Instagram Reels? Instagram Reels are short form pieces of content, up to 60 seconds long, shot in a vertical format. So your phone's not this way, it's more like that way and possessing similar content creation options that you might find on TikTok. I'm personally not on TikTok, but Instagram Reels is very similar. YouTube actually also has created its own version of, con of a content type called YouTube Shorts that is very similar to what an Instagram Reel is. So why should you consider using them? If your audience is on Instagram, I would recommend using Instagram Reels. Are you not sure if your audience is on Instagram? Consider these stats here. I've got some pulled up on my laptop. 71% of adults in the age range of 18 to 29 are on Instagram. 48%, so almost 50% of adults ages 30 to 49 are on Instagram. 29% of adults age 50 to 64 are on Instagram and 13% of adults age 65 and over are on Instagram. So it's very likely that most of your audience falls within that 18 to 49 age range, at least. And even if it falls in the 50 to 64 range, there are still 29% of people in that age range that are using Instagram frequently. So chances are you have people who are using Instagram that could be purchasing your products. So that's why you should be using Instagram but you should be using Instagram Reels specifically for a few reasons, and I've got some stats pulled up here too. So first, Instagram, Re Instagram Reels use more searchable elements, including audio and effects, in addition to the ability to add hashtags and location tags to any post. So with in Instagram Reels, you can use trending audio and popular editing effects, like there's a green screen effect where you can add an image as a background, and then you can actually be in front of that image on, on the background. So that's, that's pretty cool. So you can use these trending audio, popular editing effects, which are then clickable in your final reel, and they show up on compilation pages, giving you potential for more exposure on people's feeds. The second thing is that reels are more likely to be featured on your Explorer page, which 50% of Instagram users visit every month. So that's the page where you can see a lot of new popular Instagram posts and usually they're, they're gonna be Reels. Lastly, Reels get 22% more engagement than regular video, videos on Instagram. So long story short, if you want to grow your audience and increase your engagement on Instagram, you should consider using this new feature called Instagram Reels. So now I wanna give you an idea of how Matt and I are actually using them to promote our CSA, farm stand, and digital products. There are several different ways that you can use Reels, but these ways typically fall into a few categories. So you can use Reels to educate your consumers, to entertain them, and to exchange with them, to have them buy your products. So Matt and I primarily use Instagram and Instagram Reels to educate people about our business our values and our products and to announce opportunities to purchase our products and promote whatever deals we may be offering at any given time. So I recently created a reel, which I'm gonna put um, in the video here, about how to cook with radish seed pods. And Matt and I are not planning to actually um, sell these radish seed pods or anything, but this post still contributes to our overall brand awareness by educating our consumers about a vegetable they may have never thought about eating 
and delivering insight about our values as a farm. We don't let anything go to waste, as I mentioned in the caption for this post. So there are dozen of what, dozens of ways to use reels in the marketing of your farm, but I would start with these, uh, I think I have four ideas here. The first reel that you can create is a reel that introduces yourself and your brand. So for example, take a selfie video of yourself talking and add images and a video of you and your family farming underneath a voiceover of you talking about your, your farm and your brand. The second reel I would create is one that takes your audience behind the scenes. So show them what harvesting, processing, and preparing your products for delivery looks like. The third reel I would create is a reel that gives a tip, advice, or knowledge. Share interesting facts about the vegetables you're growing. Show your audience how to cook with the products that you're selling and give advice for how to get used to eating healthier foods, how to find healthier foods, and how to make sure someone will actually eat the healthy food they do get. How often do you hear about people who buy spinach at the grocery store and then it goes old three weeks later when they finally decide to eat it? Lastly, the fourth reel I would create is a, it's called a this or that reel. So involve your customers and potential customer, cu customers in your CSA by asking them which product you should add as part of your subscription box, box or which new jam, soap, or baked goods you should start selling. This is a great way to entertain folks and get them excited about what you have to offer. So do you want more ideas on how to use Instagram Reels? If you do, email me at Gabby, G-A-B-B-Y, at marketingbygabby.com and I'll give you some ideas about what might work for your unique business. Until then, stay tuned for the next video in my Marketing a Farm with Nothing series, and I'll see you next time on Homestead for a Living.